Are you sick and tired of getting really cold and wet outside your camper van underneath your awning? We've got the answer for you. An Outwell hill crest and an Outwell full crest coming right up. So today is a really exciting day. Uh, we've been waiting to get our hands on these. We've been scouring websites. We've really wanted to get these. And what are they? An Outwell full crest side panel set. Uh, talk about what, which uh, size that is in a minute and why I'm standing near, near our awning. And the other one is the Hillcrest tarp. So if I start with this one, the Hillcrest tarp. Uh, so this one, has a strip in it. It's a basically a polythene sheet like this. Um, you put it inside your awning. There's actually a rail which is in the end of the awning there. So you slide this in and it comes down and you fix it to the floor. So we'll do that one in a minute. This also uh, comes with some poles in there, which I'll show you in a second as well. So if you haven't got an awning like this, what you can do is you can attach it to the van uh, and then use the poles just like we've got here. Uh, so we could uh, do the same with this. We don't obviously don't need the poles because we've got this rollout awning. So that's that one, that's the hill crest. This full crest panel set, what this is, is one for the back. So there's a panel which goes on the back and it ties round these cross members here, uh, which wind out on the awning and then ties down at the bottom. And there's also one for the front. Clearly, if you put all three of those on, you're going to have a problem because you're going to come out your side door and you'll be encased uh, and there's no door or anything on any of these so really we bought them so that we could have a side and a back um, or a front depending on which way we pitch the van so i think what we'll do today is we'll have a go putting the side one on and then we'll probably put the back one on uh, because of where we are on this beautiful site here at sherwood pines what we got here then our four crest and our hill crest so we typically keep getting into some arguments about what's a side and what's a front and what's a back. And I think at the point when we were buying them, because Will bought one set and I bought the other set, we, we were about to both buy exactly the same thing because yeah. I was calling something the, well, the side and he was calling it the back. And, and one of the websites had the same picture for both, yeah. which really didn't that help That really at all. just confused Come on, completely. stop, stop so, nattering and get it open. Right, so full crest. These are the side panel sets. Full so, crest. Full crest. By the side panel, that's one for the front and one for the back. It's not right. Which is just strange, but it's just not right. That's our terminology. So you get two of these, obviously, uh, and they are handed so that you get the guys on the correct side of it. So what do we have here? I'll give. Let me give you a hand with that in a minute. Okay. But you can see you get the zip along the top here which is what we use for putting over the cross members. Like that, looks really easy. So that's the back one. This is the one for the back of because the van, is it? it's got guy lines on the back of the top, so that will go, unzip that and go around the top. And then on the back of it, you've got guy lines here, which you can use to then pull it down. Yeah, and you can peg it down to and the then, ground. Yeah, at the bottom, it's got some pegging, so. Like that, so this so, other one, we'll leave that folded for now, because that's oh, for the funny that. front. Oh. Look at that. Rhea. Yeah. So thank you, Outwell. Do you want to have a look in the rest of the bag then? What have we yep. got? In here. We've never unpacked these before, so this is absolutely as they come. Uh, so this is an instruction set there that's sewn that. into it, but I don't think you really need that. It's not really quite that self-explanatory. Nearly fell over then. And oh, some pegs. So no mallet or anything. Oh, repair kit. That's nice. Let's hope we won't need that. That's good. And lots of pegs. Pretty good looking pegs, actually. Wow. Fluorescent pegs. Fluorescent ones as I'm well. Going to trip yeah. over those. Better than these uh, metal things which I've just put in the ground for yeah. this. I bought some, um, a couple of years ago, some solar stake lights from the supermarket for a couple of pounds. When we use these tie down things, I stick those in the ground to make sure that uh, right. you don't go flying over it. Get your Pop that to one the side then. then. Right. Okay. So the Hillcrest Ooh. tarp which I would call a side. Clearly it's not, it's a front, back. Oh, no. Well, if it's not the sides, it's got to either be the front or the back. So 
Anyway, so let's get this one open and see what we get in here then. It feel, this is a lot heavier, this pack. Uh, so, I'm assuming that's some more pegs. Yep. So, more Outwell fluorescent pegs. Got. So that's going to be the poles that I talked about uh, if you were going to put it straight off the van, but we're not going to use those today because we've got our awning here. Uh, same type of bag uh, with all the instructions sewn into it so you can't lose them. And that's waterproof as well. Um, so it, it, if it rains, it doesn't matter. Uh, that's it for the bag. And then here, you can see that this has got a Cador strip on the top. Um, and actually, just looking at it now, it's got two different sizes of Cador strip as well. So I, I'm not sure what, uh, what millimeter there are. I'll put them in the comments uh, and uh, on the screen so you can see, but um, I'm hoping one of those is gonna be exactly the, <laughs> the right one for this. It better be. Um, and again, presumably this has got a front and a back side. So yeah, so on this side, look, there's some tie downs for it uh, and um, uh, some guy lines for it. So we're going to need to slide it on that way so that we could tension it if we wanted to afterwards. Right, I think okay. we need to give it a go. Give it a try. So which one are we going to do first? Your choice. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this one as soon as we've got it in Side front Side stroke, front stroke, right. whatever. Let's give it a go. Okay. Right. Uh, so let's see what we can do with this. So now I've put these straps on and this is out. We need to go behind this. And looking at it, it's the, is it the smaller one of the two. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the it. smaller one of the two, which I'm feeding it on with. So if you remember, there's two different sizes there. It's this smaller one. So just feed it on into this rail. And then hopefully, In. That's it? Yeah. And that is a perfect size look. So in terms of where these legs are, it's already pre-cut ready in size. Same again this side. So absolutely. Looks good. Spot on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it in without the tensioners on uh, just while we're doing this test setup. But there are tensioning guy lines and things here if we wanted to. And there's also a, an eyelet here. Uh, which we could put it through as well, but I'm just going to pop it through the... Oh. So there's one. Uh, just pop and do this one on the other side, just to give it a bit of tension. And then obviously you could do a couple in the middle as well. We're just test fitting this today just to see what it's like. Obviously you've got your guy lines here as well. So if you really wanted to get it nice and solid, you could do. One other thing I've noticed is these, um, are these little hooks and that allows you to roll it up halfway. Uh, so if you just wanted a bit of a extra canopy uh, as, a, as a bit of a rain shelter or anything you can do. Right, so this is the Rear. Rear, yeah. Rear panel, yeah, okay. says rear. So by the looks of it, I need to undo this. Yep. So we can create it, put it over the top here and then. Mm -hmm. so. There you go. So pull it over the top, but not too far, because we've got to zip it up. It's a good chunky zip. So, pop that all the way along. Yeah, we've got it the right way around because yeah. the tie downs are on the back. Yeah. Uh, so now we're just going to need to go around the back, peg it down on the floor, I think. So, just watch this big hole here. Right. <laughs> I keep falling down it. It's about there, isn't it? That's good. If we were doing this uh, for any length of time or to hold it for any length of time, then I'd definitely use the 
other guy lines because you can adjust the tension on them then because this probably looks a little bit too tight if I'm honest but just as a quick demo so there's another one in the center there that you can get right on the ground so before we talk about anything else I'm not being unsympathetic, Will, but every time you get a mallet in your hand, there seems to be a bruise on the other hand. So this is what it looks like with just those two sides on. And actually, I think this is really quite smart. I'm actually really impressed with these for something so simple. Um, I think it's probably worth saying that we've got a drive away awning as well a Van Gogh galley compact and I'm sure we'll show you that at some point that we bought two or three years ago now and as good as that is it's a bit of a faff and actually trying to get around the van when you've got it there and it's attached to the van um, and you're unzipping things and zipping things back up again and just being able to dive through a bit of a hole between the tarps there to just go around to the back of the van obviously you're not going to get anywhere near as much protection as you do from being in a proper full drive away awning but for something so simple and quick to put up i'm really really impressed one thing i quite like is uh, because this is fitted with a cador strip at the top here against the awning that's going to be waterproof so so it's not as though if you get close to the edge here you're going to have things dripping on you you know if you've put shoes on the floor anything like that as long as there isn't a lake coming underneath it or from the front mm. or the back actually it's going to be really quite nice and snug in here yeah. what we're going to do in a second is just get the uh, table and chairs out and just see what that feels like under here but because it's always felt the awnings always felt okay but when you've got a table and chairs out if there's any kind of wind whipping around the back of the van or anything like that i don't know about you but i've always uh, found it it's just a bit uncomfortable sometimes well let's face it in the uk it's rare to have a nice sunny day where you're actually using the awning for any kind of overhead sun protection it's mostly for rain rain <laughs> and when you get rain quite often you get wind as well so we've just ended up finding ourselves any, sitting in the van rather than actually enjoying the space outside so anything that can help us to enjoy that space outside a little better um, and obviously the added little bit of privacy if you're on a busy campsite as well it doesn't do any harm perfect yeah. let's get the table and chairs out and have a look then really happy oh boo wants out <laughs> she wants out I'm not going to show inside the van, it's too untidy. <laughs> Might give a sneak peek in That's a second. That's a disgrace. <laughs> so that just gives a bit of a um, understanding of kind of what the space looks like when we've just got the normal California table and chairs out. Loads of space really, but you can see just from where Sarah's sitting, actually if I go next to the edge of the awning, there you go, look, she's half out. <laughs> I'm half in she's and half out. She's using already expanded into the extra space available. <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> but in all seriousness actually when you do have the table and chairs out if you sit in it like that without that side piece on what we've found in the past is that you do find it's quite narrow um, so you have to kind of huddle next to the van and this is just perfect I, I can't believe how simple they are and how effective yeah. great I really can't so let's see does she want out she looked like she did if she's mm. decided against it <laughs> I'm not sure. That looks like a dopey dog to me. What we're hoping is going to happen is that these will be actually able to fit inside of the chair there because it's a smidge bit of wasted space um, which is unusual in the California to find some wasted space but there's a I'm little do it smidge on there. They know that people are going to stuff yeah. stuff in there. So you can see that we've already got something there. If the chair was if there. If the chair was there. That's our external windscreen cover. Um, so we're thinking that you know what let's these definitely aren't as big as that. So. And, and obviously after this video we're going to chop these off as well. <laughs> go on then, see as you're taller. Give it, a, give it a go. Give it a go. So this is both of them. Oh yeah. Jobs are good. So we haven't got the pole, so we haven't got the poles in uh, for the side back front. Hillcrest. Hillcrest. 
Uh, we haven't got the pegs in either because I tend to have a separate bag of pegs which I keep in the cupboard at the back. So no need for that and obviously no mallet or anything. So that's just the three bits of tops, top things uh, in their bags. Uh, but that perfect solution for us. Uh, like Sarah said, we've got the windscreen cover in the other one when we put the chair away. Zip it up, you'll never know that they're there. Yeah. Really right. good. Perfect. Designed for the California, they're not, <laughs> but they could be. Uh, they absolutely fit this and beautifully. Takes, it. takes up zero space, basically. Yeah. Assuming that you haven't filled that with something else already. <laughs> right, we're going to take the dog for a walk now. Yeah, I think she's been waiting far too long. Let's do it. <laughs> See you all soon. Thank you for watching Cheers. California Time. Really appreciate your subscription. And uh, we look forward to making more videos like this. Oh. Oh. I know what you haven't done. You haven't told them how much they actually are. <laughs> Price. Can you remember? Uh, I think both of them are around the 80 to 100 pound mark each. I think something one was like 79 that. and one was 89, I think. Yeah. Something like, so one pack versus the other pack. Yeah. But yeah, they're 80 to 100 pounds, something like that. Yeah. If you can find them in stock, that's the problem. People have found out about these even before our video. Well, we found out about it on one of the California we forums, did. didn't we? We did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and they are brilliant. So thank you to whoever it was who posted a picture of them on their California and inspired us. Hopefully this video inspires you too. See you again soon for some more California time. Bye.